Shabbat Shalom, beloved. It's a word. I wanted to talk about a dream vision, a vision dream that I had. When I came to myself, I could hear voices, but I couldn't make out what they were saying. And I looked up in the direction of the voices and I realized that I was in a grave. And I was submerged, I was covered in water, but I could look up and see their figures standing over me, looking down to where I was. I couldn't make out what they were saying, but it was the sound of their voices that first brought me to myself. I became aware. When I looked up and realized I'm in water, I'm, I'm, I'm submerged in water. And I looked around and I realized I'm in a grave. I'm, I'm laying on my back. I'm in a grave. And I looked at one wall and I looked at the other. And out of one side, there was a root sticking out. And I grabbed the root. As I simultaneously realized I can breathe at the water, I could breathe in the water, but I knew I was underwater laying that this grave was filled. And I grabbed the root and as I grabbed it to anchor me, to steady me so I could get up, I came out of it. When I sat and I meditated on that vision, that dream, and I remember thinking, they're aware, they know I'm here. I represented Yasharel because I didn't see myself like you're laying down, you know you're there. But I believe I represented the house of Yasharel. It made me think of Ezekiel when Yah said, son of man, speak to those dry bones. Those dry bones are the entire house of Yasharel. And like I said, in the beginning, I could hear the sounds of their voices, but I could not make out what they were saying. And I became aware that I was in a grave covered, just submerged in water. I saw the root and I grabbed it. That root represents Yahshua HaMashiach. That as we hold to Yah's words, his statutes, his laws, his commands, as we trust in it, as we hold to it, it lifts us up out of this hidden place that we've been put. At the same time, it was simultaneous. We were, I was buried like in baptism, dying to whatever I had been when they buried me. But the new preacher was coming out and we were known about, I was known. There were figures standing over, they knew I was there. like a seed planted, like something hidden away, but rising. Our time, beloved, has come. The manner and the moves that Yahuwah does, only he himself knows, only the creator knows, but it has begun. The ancients, the holy ones, know we have been hidden. We have been buried. And we are coming out. There is no more hiding us. Like a seed sprouting, we are coming out. And that water, that living water, also represented the Holy Spirit. 
because I was conscious of the fact I could breathe. It wasn't killing me. It, I wasn't struggling for air. It was one of the things that I was, I'm underwater, but I can breathe. And I knew that those figures above knew I was there and they weren't going anywhere. I was coming out and they were waiting for me. I, I can't even say whether they were assisting me, but I knew they knew and they were talking. It's a sign, beloved. Signs and wonders that y'all know that the nations buried us, but he's bringing us out of our graves. He's raising us up and it's his work that's doing it. It's his Holy Spirit. I trust our faith in his word. And he is with us. Yasharel is coming forth. It doesn't matter how long the nations hit us. It doesn't matter the lies they told. That's over. Those days are gone. Yasharel is coming forth. Brand new and resurrected. Just as he was, so shall we be. And just like Yahshua HaMashiach was buried and rose, so is Yahshua. And we are leaning and holding on to his word, covered in his spirit, watched over by his divine truth. It is word, beloved. Shabbat Shalom.